Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Welcome back to News 10 at Midday on this Tuesday. Very similar start to yesterday. Uh, rain showers once again all over uh, Illinois counties, at least uh, for the Wabash Valley. So right across the state line here, we have Charleston, we have Coles County, Edgar County, Clark County. This is where some of the heavier rain is. And off to the south there for uh, areas of Crawford County and Robinson, the quick splash oblong there and to the south. So this is not moving very fast at all. If you are getting out the door right now, grab the rain gear because it's going to be sticking around for a little while. It is slowly moving to the south and southeast. So Sullivan County could start seeing some light you're probably getting a sprinkle right now in Sullivan. And if you're making your way to uh, Knox County, uh, Lawrence County, areas like that, some decent rain showers for you folks to kick off your Tuesday. We do have a flash flood warning in this region here in the box. That's Edgar County and uh, Clark County. And if you are heading in that direction, expect the heavy rainfall. That red, that orange, that's this explaining and showing that uh, some of the rain is coming down pretty heavy there. So we're expecting this as we go through our early afternoon. Here's 12, 12, 11, 12 in Illinois. Expect the rain as you're heading out the door. A bigger view of this, though, mainly it is right concentrated across the state line. So western Illinois staying dry, eastern Indiana staying dry. It's just right here in our ballpark where we are starting to see those rain showers uh, continue on for our early afternoon. And that means we could start to see some as we go through a part of our day. Now the sensor in Indiana right here in Terre Haute at the airport is actually showing some sunny conditions, but um, it's pretty cloudy out there. Maybe a little bit of sunshine on the east side of Terre Haute. Temperatures right around 73 degrees and a south southwest breeze right around seven miles per hour. Look at this though, right here in the middle, we are cool. It's uh, actually warming up pretty nice on the outside where the storms aren't there and it's a little more clear. The clouds aren't even there, but right where the rain showers are at, we are significantly cooler, 69 degrees in Paris and in the lower 70s right here in Terre Haute. So I do think this will hurt our temperatures for the afternoon a little bit. I don't think we're going to warm up to those upper 80s that we originally had forecast, I think it'll be a little bit cooler due to those rain showers and some cloud coverage that's moving on through. So look at this. It's just a bullseye right over the Midwest. There's that little patch of rain showers. Here's 9, 10. So it's been here through most of our morning. And as you could tell, it's not really moving. That's the development of a uh, low overnight. And it's just going to continue to spiral right over the region and bring those rain showers in for the afternoon. So that's what we're tracking. You know, we're going to have those summertime storms, I guess you could call it. We have uh, some warm air out there, a little bit of moisture, the humidity is hanging around. So we're going to just have those rain showers for part of our day today. And some of them could be pretty heavy at times. We'll be pushing the 90s though beyond this. If we could kick this out of here, we could actually get rid of these clouds, get rid of the rain. Those temperatures will warm up into the upper 80s to the lower 90s, especially over the next couple of days. And that's what I'm expecting. But for today, I have lowered those temperatures uh, just a bit. We could probably top off in the mid 80s for today, but I'm going to leave a chance for some rain showers as we go through part of our afternoon and evening. Futurecast does a pretty good job showing this. There's that rain in the afternoon here, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock in Illinois. If you have plans for this evening, the kids have sporting events. Anything that will take you outdoors, make sure you are ready for maybe some light rain and even some lightning and thunder at times. It should dry up come tomorrow morning. It's uh, picking up on some rain to the east, but that's about it. So we get through most of our Wednesday. I think we'll be uh, more inclined to see some sunshine as we go into our Wednesday. Well, here's another look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. I'll hopefully get to your seven day here in just a bit. Roger.